Hello there, this is Mary DeMuth, and this is Pray Every Day on January 4th, 2019. So excited to have you here today. My heart is full because um, we're almost uh, reaching that one year mark, and I will let you know soon um, something that you can do to help celebrate that. So uh, be staying tuned for that. And without further ado, we are in 1 Timothy chapter 3, verses 8 through 13 in the Phillips or the J.B. Phillips uh, translation of the Bible, and it says this. Now we're hopping over to deacons. Deacons, similarly, should be men of serious outlook and sincere conviction. They too should be temperate and not greedy for money. They should hold the faith as a sacred trust with complete sincerity. Let them serve a period of probation first and only serve as deacons if they prove satisfactory. Their wives should share their serious outlook and must be women of discretion and self-control, women who can be trusted. Deacons should be men with only one wife, able to control their children, and manage their own households properly. Those who do well as deacons earn for themselves a certain legitimate standing, as well as gaining confidence and freedom in the Christian faith. Mind if I pray for you? Lord, again, we have this other list of what um, what exemplifies someone who serves in your church. And since you tell us that we are all to be servants, that we are all part of the lay ministry of our churches, help us to take these admonitions seriously. Help us to have a serious outlook. Now, of course, that doesn't mean that we never laugh and we never have fun, but that we take our faith seriously. And Lord, I do pray that those listening today would have a sincere conviction of who you are and who they are in Christ and how they've been adopted and what their journey is. Lord, help us to be temperate and not greedy for what money can provide. Instead, Lord, I just simply pray for provision for my those listening today. For those who are stressed about money, it can be an albatross around our neck. And so, Lord, just please... Please show that you do own those cattle on a thousand hills, that you are the God who sees, you are the God who hears, and you are the God who answers, and you are the God of provision. You are Jehovah Jireh. So help us to rest in that. Lord, I love that this um, phraseology that Phillips uses, he says, hold the faith as a sacred trust with complete sincerity. Lord, help us not to be flippant with you. Help us not to be lackadaisical in our faith, but as we begin this new year, that we would take our faith seriously to really pursue you and show you how much we love you. Not that we have to earn our salvation, but just as a response of our gratitude to surrender to you. Lord, um, thank you for your um, direction in your word. And I pray for those listening um, today that we would saturate ourselves in your word this year, that we would read it with joy, that we would not forsake it, and we would not forsake our assembling together, that we would also connect with other like-minded believers. Lord, help us to be disciples who know your word and who love others well. That is what our heart is. Lord, um, we do pray for our homes, we pray for our families, we pray for our children, we pray for our parents, we pray for aunts and uncles and cousins and, and grandparents, and we lift up our loved ones to you because they are um, so precious to us. And I thank you that they are precious to you too. Lord, I lift up parents who are um, stuck in the sandwich generation between trying to care for older parents and trying to shepherd their children. It's a difficult place to be. Would you just shower your grace on people walking that particular path today? Um, help them to have the strength they need to navigate end of life issues and being kind hearted and tender hearted to those older than them, treating them with respect and kindness and sweetness but also um, to have that ability to shepherd and disciple their children toward you. It's a, it's a crazy time of life, and so I just pray for your special grace. I also pray for those who are single today who are struggling with that as a new year begins. Lord, would you give them peace? Would you give them purpose in their singleness and help them to know that you love them and that you see them, you're with them, you have not forsaken them? I pray all of this in Jesus' powerful name. Amen. 
Thank you so much for listening to Pray Every Day. You are a blessing to me, and I hope you have an amazing January 4th. Have a good day.